Hello, my crazy ultra marathon folks, my distance project 50 to 100 mile um, participants. I wanted to make a quick little video, not necessarily to describe out to you guys in detail your workout is this fairly straightforward, but more so make a video on how um, I kind of want to rearrange and, and organize your Tuesday nights um, starting with this Tuesday, August 3rd. Now I know we were gonna meet on Wednesdays and then we were gonna meet on Tuesdays at 6.30 with the marathoners into August and then I was gonna move you to six and now I'm gonna make a movie back to 6.30. Our apologies on being so fickle um, as we try to navigate how we best can support you. Um, Barbara and I were really trying to keep in mind too on a kind of the best overall experience level for you guys as well. So we thought um, that would actually be a lot more um, well received really uh, uh, focusing on critical mass not uh, taking out the you know five or six maybe seven distance project people out of the 30 40 50 sometimes even marathon folks and having you guys do something um, in the crickets of katie trail all by yourself so what we're trying to do is provide a better coachable workout for you guys on Tuesday nights um, with some running buddies and running pals um, in case uh, some of the distance project folks had to do it in the morning or on your own. So my apologies again for the start times. Uh, we believe that waiting 30 more minutes uh, right here in the, the month of August will uh, benefit you greatly. Again, just so you have training buddies and coaches and just a little bit more accountability and support. Um, so, so you know, basically, um, I'm going to try to mimic the marathon workouts uh, um, to kind of follow your template or the 50 to 100 mile template, right? So um, we're going to work our way up to 20 minutes of warm up and cool down. Um, in the past, we've done two minute warm up, two minute cool down. I'm going to kind of keep it 20 minutes just because it's a little easier um, forever to, to, to be honest with you to time and, and keep it um, logistically sound, right? So the marathoners, we're doing 10 minute warm up, 10 minute cool downs. Tomorrow, we're going to do 15 and 15. Um, we're going to do 15 and 15 the next week, and then it'll be 20 minutes warm up, 20 minutes cool down moving forward throughout the rest of your training. That being said, you guys are gonna do three miles of marathon pace, right? The marathoners are gonna do a three mile stack, or yes, three mile stacker. Um, well, they'll start at marathon pace and then just up tempo half, mar uh, half mile and then bring it right back down again. So I'm mimicking their workout. They need something a little bit more specific, a little bit quicker than you do, um, but yet we are gonna be intertwined along the marathoners the whole entire time. Again, to kind of encourage, to judge, um, you can honestly uh, work a little bit on your patience and work a little bit on letting them go and, and work on staying in your lane and work on um, having that individual spirit, putting those blinders on. So I really think, uh, excuse me, starting a little bit later and still uh, keeping you guys combined, not only do you have training buddies, but you also get a lot of that race strategy um, on and kind of being on your lone island, as we all know, ultra what kind of marathoning is. So um, again, thank you guys for being so supportive as we keep moving this around. Again, I think it's gonna be a better overall experience. Again, um, next week, you actually have you know, one mile repeats. Uh, the marathoners are going to also do one mile repeats. They're just going to do them a little faster than you. So all these workouts are very similar, right? In stature, if we just put a little bit uh, more intensity to the marathoners and you put a little difference in the race uh, or re work to rest ratio, then we're all going to be one big happy family. Now, getting into some of the later months when it does get a little bit darker, we'll probably um, change start time to six just so you guys aren't out there um, we will keep you um, posted on that and we will give you plenty of planning time um, if that change is made so if you have any questions let us know again thanks for being with us right thanks for being going one thing I did want to mention and I hope that you guys uh, stayed with me all the into the now it's gonna be really hard to stay at your marathon pace when those marathoners speed up so 
do the best you can, stay in your wheelhouse. If you guys cannot run a marathon at the pace that you guys are gonna be running those three miles in, you need to check yourself and you need to bring yourself back, okay? Again, everything's gonna feel good for the first 10 or 20 miles of this 50 to 100 mile distance, and if you waste it all at the beginning, you guys are gonna be paying the price. So again, stay in your lane, stay in there. Uh, think about my horrible voice yelling at you as you guys speed up a little bit, and maybe, just maybe, you'll slow down. All right, if you have any questions, let us know.